and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Yes, and I have my bad lags. All right, we are over at the uh, over at the waterfall house. But this episode, we are going to be doing some maintenance. Yes, it looks cool running with a battle axe. I'm trying to find one of those uh, those bushes that keep popping up that I don't. I used to love those bushes. I still do, but they're always in areas that. I don't like. And an update on the issue. Where is those things? Why? Hmm. Well, we'll find one. So one of the issues and we're, we're, what we are also going to do today is we are going to play with the mechanic shop over here real quick. I know there's, I know there's one of those bushes around here somewhere. Allegedly, in, and, and, and you can, you can get rid of it with a shovel, which I did. Um, I had used an axe, and for whatever reason, the axe didn't uh, take care of it, and I can't find one now, so we are going to give up on that for the moment, but show you what I've been doing, and if you look in the last episode, look at that. The house is on the ground. I lowered the house by three and adjusted the uh, landscaping. And you say, but where are the cars? Well, in moving the house, <laughs> you're going to love this. My cars are now in the living room. Yeah, they should not. They should not be in said living room. So we, what we are going to do is we are going to, uh, I need that. I need that if we're going to. Unfortunately, I can't get out of the living room. So we are going to pick up the said cars. There we go. And we're going to go down to the garage. So I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this house. Uh, I did not build a house. This is part of the insta build where you could you could spawn a large mas mansion, and it looks really cool. And I updated the uh, blocks. It was the sand was used for the walls, so I just used sandstone and I took the blocks and went through the my blocks kit uh, machine and turned those blocks into what looks like siding. So we are going to come down here real quick. We are going to drop off the said automobiles. And I also, I'm not, I'm not sure what I want to do about the floor yet. I know I don't want this marble. Uh, one of the contenders is this stone tile. Not that. And mm, no. But this looks cool. And all that is is a, a baked, a black blake baked black blaked back black and white baked clay because the checkerboard pattern that I used in the office over here is way too busy it's too small when you use it out here on the floor so I'm going to do half the floor in this and probably the other half the floor in this and, and or wood because I'm going to split this garage off into it's not going to be an entire garage anymore. It's just going to be a couple cars and then, you know, a, a seating area, a garage. Well, a basement. That's what, that's the word I was looking for. <gasps> Look at that. There, ooh, egg. No chicken. There we go. Okay, so you can beat this bush and you can't get rid of it. Wow, the X will get rid of it. Now I tried that before. Maybe it was because I was using the pickaxe. I wanted to try the battle axe. Well, we will have to see. <laughs> we will we we will have to see if I find another one, and we we can try it with the um, 
with the pickaxe. So what we're going to do today is first, and one of the suggestions was that I wasn't high enough. And you know what? It made sense. So what we are going to do is we are going to mark that as number one. It makes sense that I wasn't high enough because the, the house that was here was way tall. Let's see if I can. Now, why didn't that do that? There we go. So now we are way taller than the original house was. Now we are going to, we're going to just use the fixed light and it made it worse. Why did it make it worse? Huh? We're going to come over here and go up. <laughs> we're going to try this again. We're going to go slash slash R air air. We're going to try that. And that, that cured it. So replacing air with air cured it. And nope. I keep forgetting the double quotes or the, the double slashes. All right. So we cleared, we, we, we cleared it. I wasn't up high enough. And that looks good because this is all going to be forest. Yeah. So now what we need to do, I'm not sure what kind of roofing I'm going to put on here because I don't like how high this building is, especially in the front. So what we are going to do is we're going to call this one and two, and we are going to now, you know, I should have, I should have, um, read up on how to do that. That's gone. Ha uh ha. -huh. And reset. Okay, so this is going to be our shop. Our mechanical shop. Where's that box that I made those bricks out of? That's a sign workshop. This one is color machine. Where's my bricks? I don't think that was it. I think it was the my siding is the one I used. Yeah, this is the one I use because it, it will do the sandstone. So those are all going to get moved. And we're going to move these back by one, two, three. Ooh. Come on. And we are going to move said region back by three because I'm lazy and I don't want to break those. Okay. What is that? Oh, those are those. Hmm. So I had a problem looking at some of the roofs. And why didn't, why didn't I just move those? Hmm. I don't know what I don't know what I want to do about the roof. So one of the things is to make a metal roof or to make a wood roof. And I'm thinking about just going with the metal roof. So now that's the height I want. And what we are going to do is we are going to take this. And we have to, we're going to put another garage here. So get rid of that. If we, if we go here, I'm not sure if I want to do one or two, because if I do one, I'll probably just do one. Okay. So one, Hmm. If I, I, oh, my headphones just got ripped violently out of my ear by my hand. Okay, so <laughs> now that we're, 
Oh boy, what a what a day. We uh hopefully everybody had a good uh, Memorial Day weekend. And we hit 99 degrees uh on one day and 97 degrees and then we also had just a I don't know what I'm doing. Just a mess of temperature. And today was my daughter's last day. It's my daughter's last day of school. And what they had is they had their annual uh, walkathon. So we want to go out three. Uh, that might be that might be too much. So what we are going to do here is we have the door here. I think two is going to be it. Two is going to be it. Because that, that's going to open up another bay. You know what? I'll just go three. That'll work. And then we will do one. And then we will do another door. For the side. This isn't going to let me do it now, is it? I have to move this tractor. The wobbly wheel tractor. All right. So, we're going to put another door here. I really do like these doors. I wish they were one more higher. But, oh, and different colors. I would love to have, I would love to have different colors. Now, this is going to go down because this is all going to get dug out. This is extra space for the shop. Because I like this color. And the reason why is because it reminds me of cinder block. I don't know. I don't know why. This is the silver, um, the silver brick, which was introduced. And then we will get rid of this and there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that I can do inside here so this is all going to be made into concrete yeah that's not enough that's not enough space but we'll see because I can always I can always um, adjust and we're going to take this out. I'm, I'm going to put some kind of uh, bracing across, but not right now. Okay. You see, this will allow, this will allow two cars. And I want to use this as a, like a service entrance for machinery. You see that it needs to go over. You know, I'm I'm gonna play with that later. I I want to get, I want to get this building done. I'm a I'm a very slow builder, and <laughs> I have a lot of ideas. I don't know why this. Oh, duh. Okay, so we have that. We have enough room back here. I'm probably gonna move that door down to here, and we can add a third bay. But for right now, I like this. So I'm going to show you this bay. But first, what, I'm going to do, what I am going to do is I am going to put a roof on this. And I don't know if I want... Uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to play with this one. So how do I want these to go? Do I want them to go... This way or the other way. And it'll be apparent in a second. Because if you go like, oh, okay. There was a couple other roofs that I wanted to use, but like this slate. Um, however, these roof slats, but they have to have something under them. So 
I did not want to use that. Although they look they look great. And I want to keep this three high. So we are going to what we are going to do is we are going to I have I have my flying speed slow. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, we're going to stack. Boom. And let's see how well that looks. Free move disabled. Why won't it let me drop down? That is weird. Did I turn no clip off? Oh, duh. Okay, that. It looks okay. And then over here is going to be, over here is going to be a counter. Let's get rid of this stuff here. I like that dragon. That's from my landscaping. Which is really, really cool. I want to clean up my mess. So what we are going to do is we're going to move these machines over here. I like I I really do like using those machines. Even in even in creative because they just they work. They're fun to use. All right, so what we are going to do is we are we are going to duplicate this bay. And I tried several different things of making um making it like a hoist. So when you go into like a Jiffy Lube or an oil change place, up here in America, we have Jiffy Lubes. You have, they have this under, under floor bay, mechanics bay. And it, it works out okay. So we are going to duplicate that. And we're going to put in a bay right here. Now, I kind of didn't have to because I wanted one bay to be used without, now let's see how, how I'm going to do this. How did I do that? I went two down. Hmm, no problem. Oh, I know what I did. This used to be the basement of the treehouse, and I had played with it so much, and I had to... I, I actually had, at one point, there was... At one point, there was a tunnel that went from one side to another. So these are half blocks. To give it, to give it more space... Wow. Hmm. Well, that just kind of filled in everything. I don't know why, what happened. Why isn't that doing... Oh, those are half block. Oh! Okay, so what happens is when you when you grab a block with when you grab a block with the re, with the replacer tool, it will mimic
It will mimic it, but what I did is I failed. I failed to copy. It, it'll copy it in the direction that it is. Now I, I kind of screwed up. I kind of screwed up my whole deal here. Which I'm going to fix right so. So like I said, I was trying to... I was trying to make it to where, let's see, did I do any damage over here? I don't think so. Nope. I was trying to make it, oh, those are regular blocks. That's why that, that, that looks so weird. So we are going to do this and it goes there, it goes there, and then I forgot that Ooh. you can tell it's hot outside because i'm i'm slowly <laughs> slowly starting to mess up there we go that's what i wanted now we have two bays oh it would help if I put a drainage in. Now we have now we have two bays. So it's not that hard to get a vehicle in here. All right. That looks kind of cool. And I did I did try to do. Let's see if I can park this thing. I did try. That's bad. That's bad. I want to make sure it's on. Let's see how close I get. Yeah, it's good enough for government work. So then what you can do is you can go underneath the car to work on it without having to have a hoist. So that works out pretty cool. For realism. Then we come down here. We have this one. And they use them for oil changes. Um, I did try to use a hoist to try to get the uh, vehicle to sit right. But I just couldn't make something work the way I wanted it to. Which was a, which was a real shame. Because of the, the way that the car, the stance of oh did i do it look at that there we go now we got we have a ferrari in for service that's nice and what i also wanted to do was make it so did i have that in my inventory yes i did so i don't know why I did that. Hmm. No, I think I... Uh. I really do... I like these lights because they give a real good representation of... It's not where I want it. I wanted it there. So there's going to be a back room here, obviously. Because this this does look kind of um, goofy. I know those aren't centered. They're not centered. This duh. All right. So they need to go one. I'm not going to. I am not going to have 19 million lights. If these, and it's always, you know what, it's always something with me because if these were how you say, oh, look at that. I would like to make a similar version of this with a steel surround instead of wood. And that would give a, a really cool shop light 
or a white, like a white steel is what you usually see those in. But they are cool. So let's take a quick look at this before we end this video. All right, it's got the height I want. One, two, three, one. It might be a little bit too long. So I could. No, you know what? That's fine. I'm fine with that. Okay, so there's our there's our mechanic shop. And there's gonna be like a like a room back here. There's gonna be a bathroom for for parts. A, ro a room for parts and a, a bathroom and a place to clean up for the auto mechanics. And I wanted to bring the reason why I wanted to do that is so I could bring the tractor in. But that's okay. Oh, we have stuff in there. Cool. And then right here is going to be a counter. So people can, you know, I can, what I can also do is have a little waiting area. So I could have the counter come back here. So there will be a counter. And... Uh, Just do this to kind of denote where this area is going to be. So I could put I could put like two chairs in over here. You usually see a waiting room. And then you have the mechanics test. I might even be able to go one more back because then you could have a parts room and washrooms and place to clean up with the little machine shop. Oh, machine shop. And that will bring. that because we every mechanic needs tools so those are going to be toolboxes and then my toolbox in there my poor attempt at creating my my blender toolbox workshelves I'm still working on, on the graphics on it. I'm trying to work on getting the, the shadows correct, which I'm having a problem with. So that's work. That, that works. You know, I mean, you could deck this out. You could put some kind of light down here. But basically, kind of realistic. So that's going to be the little mechanics type shop for the farm area and then all this area out here is going to be trees i'm going to extend the uh i'm going to extend the parking lot a little bit i don't want to make that too i like that roof i don't want to make it too um industrial looking because you know it's part of the farm but it also provides another service and the jury is still out on whether or not I'm going to just get rid of that house and do another, you know, just build my own mansion. I want to revamp the Serenity house and I, I need to do something with this. And because over here, I would love to have some kind of bridge to lead to here because this is one of my favorite houses. And this is the Island Beach House. So that's right off of here, but there's no real way. That, oh, okay. There's no real way of getting it over here that's going to that's gonna look normal. So I'm working on that. See, all this is, this is all cliffs. And you can't have a bridge. Maybe a tunnel. <laughs> an, under, an underwater tunnel. Yeah, good one. So, I think this area is turning out really cool. Um, I got some more trees going on back here. I really need to get 
the landscaping on this house correct. Because I think that will set it off. And then I need to fix up the boat mechanic shop. I like that building because I also used the 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 siding on there and this this is where they would come to work on boats but it it needs a complete revamp um because there's a, a small little marina over here yeah two boats and they're out and this real poor kind of it's not bad as a as a greenhouse but it could be a lot better. It could be, I have a, I have a really cool modern uh, design that I want to use on that. So that's look, this area is looking really good real quickly. And I'm going to finish up the X supercar garage by testing out that floor and putting in um, like a, a basement living, living area over here. I don't want it to be all cars. All right, so that's going to do it uh, for this episode. And the animals keep getting out, even no matter what I've done. I love this farm. I, I, this, this is cool. I'm really having a lot of fun with this. And the one thing is, if an animal stands on the back of another animal... It can jump out. So, yeah. Yes, it can. Hi, Mr. Mukow. I already fed them. All right. So that's going to do it for this episode. And, uh, yeah. So what I'm also going to be doing is, in, usually in each show description, you, at the bottom of the page, you're going to be able to find a list of all the mods. And I'm starting to run into a limit of how much information that I can put into that area. YouTube only allows 5,000 characters and I keep going over and over. So what I'm going to have, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a permanent link there, which will link to my website page, which will have, which will have the updated listing of all the mods and texture packs that I use. So this way it makes it easier on everybody. So um, there's two places where you can find that. Oh, I'm going to have to put in more windows too. There's two places that you can find that. One is at the GitHub page for the world, which I'm going to be updating shortly. See, I should have moved that over one. Oh, uh, well, I'll think about that. And um, yeah, the GitHub page uh, shows where the, where the future updated world map is. The, the world map and, and that the one that's in there has this old section here and the new section minus the villa and the art house. So I want to update all that in case somebody does want to download the entire map and go from there. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, this area will be completed on next The half of it's gone. On the next visit. Holy cow. What the. What the what. There it, there it is. The mysteriously missing machine. All right. So that's, that's going to do it. You get, the, you get the general idea of the machinery and, and workshop area. We will go from there. So thank you very much for watching. And uh. Until next video, goodbye.